Hey everyone, it is Lauren Casillas. I am making a video that I get a question about all the time, which is how do you make your YouTube videos? If you go to my YouTube channel, you can see that most of my videos are just me working out math lessons and I get questions all the time of how I make those. So I'm gonna show you that in this video. I'm gonna go over three things. I'm gonna go over how I make the handouts for my videos. Um, I'm actually just gonna give you a tip on that because that could be a whole series on its own. I'm gonna go over the tools that I use to make my videos and I'm gonna go over actually making the video. So let's go do that. Okay, so first step to making your videos is having the lesson ready to go in a PDF to put on your iPad. If you were using like a textbook handout or a handout that you got on TPT, that's fine. You just cannot publish those videos publicly on YouTube because those are copyrighted by that author. So if you're wanting to make your own handouts and put them on YouTube publicly, you need to be making your own. To make my worksheets, I use PowerPoint and Excel. I find PowerPoint a lot easier to use than Word because in Word, if you drag an image or a graph or something, it shifts everything around. In PowerPoint, it does not do that. And then I use Excel to make my graph. Where I learned all of this from is Lindsay Bowden. So I'm not going to go through how to do that because that is exactly what she does. And she has a free challenge for you guys. And I will put the link for that in the description. So if you're wanting to make your own handout and you don't know where to start, I would definitely start with her free training. She is a former math teacher and goes over how to make all of those math graphs and shows you how to get the handouts looking professional and ready for TPT if that's what you're wanting to do. If you're just wanting to make resources for your own classroom, that is a really good resource. Whenever I first started making my videos, it was really just for my students in my own classroom and I took her course on how to make handouts for my own classroom. And then I ended up putting them on TPT and YouTube, but that was not my goal at first. My goal was just to make high quality resources for my students, which she definitely goes over. Okay, next thing are the tools that I use. I use an iPad and Apple Pencil. I just started with the base model iPad and a basic Apple Pencil. I did end up making so many videos that I upgraded to an iPad Air and a nicer Apple Pencil that charges like that instead of having to stick it in, but the base iPad works fine. Also, I love purple and the iPad Air came in purple. So that was definitely a motivating factor. So you screen record on the iPad, which I'll show you in a minute and I'll show you what app I use too. You definitely, want to use headphones, even if it's just cheap headphones. These are just Apple headphones that came with one of my iPhones a long time ago, and then I got a USB-C adapter. You can also use AirPods. Let's talk about the difference between these. AirPods is definitely easier because you don't have to deal with the cords, but I don't think the sound quality is as good, which is why most of the time I use the corded headphones. I think the sound quality is just a little bit better and it also doesn't pick up my Apple Pencil tapping as much. So either one of those works, it just depends on your preference. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna show you my iPad, the app that I use to teach with and record my lessons on and how I record my lessons. Okay, so let's get your iPad set up to teach a lesson. First thing you need is an app to teach the lesson on. I use this one right here, GoodNotes. I like it because it has a laser pointer. I've also used Notability before, and I know another YouTuber that uses Notability for their resources. It's really just preference, but I would recommend one of those two apps. I'm gonna go over GoodNotes in this video. Next thing is we need to make sure that our iPad is ready to screen record. So what we're going to do is swipe down. And if you do not have the screen record widget right here, you want to long press and click add control. And then screen recording is that one with the dot right there. And it says screen recording. We want to add that control. Once you have that control, you will be able to screen record your iPad. Next thing is you need the PDF file on your iPad. There's a lot of ways to get it there. You can use Google Drive. I usually just airdrop the PDF from my computer to my iPad, and then we need to open it in either Notability or GoodNotes. I'm gonna use GoodNotes. So you click the little share button and then open in GoodNotes. And it'll ask you where you want to import it. I'm just going to import it to my documents and I'm going to import it as a new document. Now we are ready to make our teaching video. I'm going to go to 
on the math page. I have my PDF open in GoodNotes and we're ready to teach our lesson. So now I need to start screen recording on my iPad. So we are going to swipe down from the right and if you just press the screen record, chances are your microphone is not going to be on, which is not great when we're trying to make a teaching video. So you wanna make sure that your mic is on. You're gonna long press on the screen record and make sure you turn your microphone on. Once you've made sure that your microphone is on, then you can start recording and just tap, go back to your home page. And once that red button shows up, it is recording and it will record everything on your iPad. So if you have notifications on, you might want to put it on do not disturb. So you can annotate on this. My favorite thing about GoodNotes is the laser pointer right here. I use that a lot in my lesson video. And whenever you are done, you will click the red screen record button and stop and it will save to your camera roll. If you do all of your video in one take and it's perfect, that is amazing for you. Usually I make a mistake or I cough or something and I need to edit that out. So I just edit the movie in iMovie on my iPad. It's just a built-in app, just search iMovie on your iPad and you'll find it. I do very basic things with iMovie. I usually am putting multiple clips together. So if you saw, I clicked the movie, I'm gonna create a new movie, and then I select the clips that I want and create the movie. I have my two movie clips in iMovie. And the other thing that I will sometimes do is cut out a certain part of the video whenever I make a mistake. So if you click on one of the clips and you go to where you wanna start cutting it out, you click this split right here. And then say I wanna cut it out until right here, I split it again and then I can delete that clip. There's a lot more that you can do with iMovie if you're wanting to edit more than that, or if you need a more in-depth tutorial, I would suggest searching for iMovie tutorials on YouTube. I hope that was helpful for you if you were trying to make your own teaching videos. We talked about where you can go to learn to make handouts. Lindsay Bowden, that link is in the description. We talked about video tools that you can use iPad and headphones and actually making the video with good notes and screen recording on the iPad. And then I did a light editing tutorial on iMovie. If you liked this video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything else you want to see me talk about with YouTube, leave me a comment with your questions. I do not feel like a YouTube expert, but I've gotten a lot of questions about how I make my YouTube videos recently and how it relates to TBT. So if you have any specific questions, leave those in a comment and maybe I'll make another video like this.